Oh mess, looks like we have no food today. Baby, let's go shopping. What's going on everybody? This is JD and Pinoy Travelers and today, where are we going? Coughlin. Coughlin. Time to food time. Time to get some food. To go! If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell for more travel vlogs. Alright, so let's park the car and head to Coughlin. Their parking lot is always in a rough top. Mostly like um store or like their parking lot is in the rough I mean not like this is their parking. And under of this their one store. And Jose is a very good in man <laughs> See that? Garbage. <laughs> Oh shit, we forgot cards. Coughlin is a popular German hypermarket chain. The same owner, Schwarz Gruppe, also owns Liddell as well, which is another hypermarket grocery chain in Germany. And a favorite spot, Hobosek? Bread time. Time to get some bread. Okay. Coughlin also stands for Byland in English. The first store in Coughlin opened in 1984 and quickly expanded throughout East Germany. So every time you get bread, you have to get paper and then some gloves. Like this one. One. And you. My favorite. Okay. After World War II, Coffin was rebuilt, and in 1954, it moved its company in Heilbronn, located in southern Germany. The word Backwaren stands for bakery products. There are now many Coffin stores throughout Europe, 700 in Germany, 200 plus in Poland, and another 100 plus in Romania and a lot more throughout Europe. Okay. Should you get what is this? Smoothie green. In this section you'll find an abundance of smoothies, yogurts, drinks and a lot more. Oh wow look at that they also have a sushi box as well. If you're in the need to buy pet foods, Coughlin has it all. Oh, look at that. Let's grab some honey flakes. Let's grab some cocoa pebbles as well. All right, time to go to the meat department. The word worst in German also refers to sausages and cold cuts, also known as Aufschnitts. Take a look at that. Coffin also sells fishes, so let's grab a salmon and a few other fishes. I just so many hands to choose from. You could add this hand, this. So many choices, so many options. Shoot this one. Hey. 
to go. All right, so let's go downstairs and see what they have. Whoa, check out all those supplements. Here's the fish section. Let's go check it out. Whoops, almost forgot something. Let's go grab the hummus. You know like butter, every time if we're in an airplane and then they give us like a butter with bread and then it's like so good and I can't find it where so I think this is the one I guess. Whoa, so awesome. Check out all those chocolates. Let's go grab a chocolate. Whoa, so awesome. Coughlin has all the milkers you need. So let's go grab some. Wow. Happy anniversary. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, they got cookies too. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's what happens if you go in, in the store. <laughs> Whatever you see. Chocolate. The coffin's bottom floor is awesome. They have a lot of stuff that you could buy. And if you're a big fan of alcohol and wine, there's also that as well. All right, so that's all the groceries we're gonna get for today. So let's head out to the checkout counter. All right, so we've spent at least 90 euros in total, which is super cheap for all the items we bought. So if you're living in Germany or just visiting Germany for a little bit, and if you need some groceries, we highly suggest shopping in Kaufland. That's it for today's video. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell for more travel vlogs. And we'll be coming out with more travel vlogs throughout Europe. Thank you for watching. And we're into the car right now. It's a beautiful day. Look at that. The sun is up. What time is it? I don't have the time. It's 6 p.m. 6 p.m.? Wow. Oh. Wow, it's 6 p.m. and the sun's still up. Oh my goodness. Yep. Where are you going?